911 channel. Well, it's Friday evening, January 22nd. Uh, we just got back from town, got back up to the homestead here. We were so I'd take a last minute trip down into town to watch the local hockey team play. Uh, played, uh, played a pretty good game, went in overtime, ended up winning seven to six. But, uh, anyhow, is, uh, well, I'm sure a lot of you guys are aware of, there's a, uh, really big blizzard finally coming through up here in the northeast of the, uh, country. And it's putting some snow down uh, right now as we speak. It started snowing this evening probably around, oh, I don't know, around 6, I guess it started to come down and uh, hasn't stopped since. Uh, I know you guys down in Baltimore and Washington, you're getting hammered down there. Um, we can handle it up here. We're, we're used to the snow. That's what happens here, but... It goes in the gridlock down there. They're, they're going to be shut down for quite a few days, I'm sure. Nobody's going to be moving. So, But it's pretty neat. I wish we would have had some of this for hunting season. At least uh, in muzzleloader would have been nice. It always makes muzzleloader season so much better when you got a good snowstorm. But that didn't happen. So, But it's, it's here now. So we don't even know what we're getting yet. Uh, I know parts of the state are calling for upwards of three foot. Um, uh, they don't know. It's it's hard to say. It's supposed to snow all night tonight, Friday night, and the majority of tomorrow, Saturday, and uh, quit sometime Saturday night around 8 o'clock, I believe, is what they're expecting right now. So, so we're going to have our work cut out for us. But, uh, here, I'll take you guys outside of the shop here and show you what it's looking like out there right now. And uh, I think we're just getting started with this. So, here, check this out. Well, yeah. snow's a lot lighter than it was earlier. We were getting some pretty heavy flakes. Um, like I said, it hasn't put a lot down. You can see there on the International, there's probably, I don't know, six inches or so. I shoveled this. About a half hour ago. Yeah, it's about six inches. But uh it's it's coming down. Um I have to here let me come down here you'll be able to see. Yeah, it's coming down. See how deep it is. This is, uh, you can't even see down there, but this is the road, our drive, and there's a lot of work here. A lot of plowing to do. My plow tractor, my old international's over there under the tarp, buried in snow, which doesn't even have a plow on it yet. <laughs> I've been so busy hunt season and holidays and all that that uh, I didn't even get to plow on the old girl yet it's an old 154 low boy cub international that I use the plow and I use that to cut the fields with it's a good little old tractor I uh, acquired this today not gonna be able to see it very well but it's a it's an original International snow plow. Yeah, it's buried. I'll be digging her out in the morning. But uh, the other plow I have is really rough. Uh, a guy, I actually got it with the old 154 Cub, and the guy that had it did a bunch of rigging on it. He actually took this main bracket and flipped it around and I don't know he screwed it all up and it doesn't have snowshoes like this one does it's uh it's actually more of a dozer blade but this one here is uh ready to go for snow 
gonna have, I'm gonna have to put some brackets on it. It actually has like the old style big spring for like an old regular cub, high cub. So I have to do a little modification to it, but it's not a big deal. We'll make that work for uh, for this storm. I'll probably be just putting the old plow on. And here's the other international. This is a uh, 184 cub that I just purchased oh uh, not very long ago and uh, it runs good it's got the uh, it's got a quick way loader on it which is the main reason I bought it uh, I guess set a chains for it uh, these loaders are really hard to come by for these tractors and as you can see, well, it's hard to see, it's kind of covered in snow, but it's in beautiful shape. I got a good deal on it. Unfortunately, the guy that had it for a long time ran 10W30 oil in it, and that's a big no-no on these old tractors. It should have had a uh, non-detergent 30 weight, straight 30 weight run in it. And unfortunately, he uh, pretty much took the carbon out of the rings on it. So she she blows by pretty good. She's uh, She really smokes and uses some oil. But I knew that buying it. And uh, it's not that big of a deal. It's an old, one of those old C60 International four-cylinders. So probably next, next spring here, we'll probably put some new rings in it. But other than that, it's a good old tractor. There's an issue with the uh, throttle cable, too. These guys with these old machines, I don't know why, but when the throttle cable broke, which is, there's a throttle buried over here in the snow, right down there, well the throttle cable broke, and uh, instead of fixing it right, he rigged up another throttle cable and put this stupid handle over here, well doing that, it didn't have the same travel that it should over anything else and it knocked the governor a lot of whack on it so now the governor surges when you put it under a load so I need to get the proper throttle cable for it get rid of that stupid thing and uh, get that governor adjusted back up but uh, other than that a couple little bugs I need to work out of. I just haven't had time I wanted to have it ready for snow but I should be able to still run it and use it for what I gotta do. In fact, I'll probably fire it up in the morning so I can <coughs> lift that plow off the back of the truck and take it up to the big shop and put it in there so I can do some fab work on it and get it ready to go on the tractor after I get all this mess cleaned up. But uh, Yeah, there's one of the there's a newer little storage building shop I put up here before last. It's still not finished. As of many projects I have. It's so hard to fully finish something, I swear. I uh, get to a certain point and I gotta move off because there's something more pressing needed. But, uh, yeah, snow's piling up. You can see over there the tire swing in the big oak normally is off the ground but the uh, snow is starting to reach up to it so i just figured i'd bring you guys outside show you what it's looking like out here right now and uh i'll be shooting shooting some more video here in the morning once i get up and get out here and start getting these tractors fired up like i said i gotta get that other one fired up and drive it up way up there up under the old house and the front porch is where I have the tractor plow stored up by the log splitter and the camper and stuff so gotta get up in there and uh, get that bad boy mounted so we can do some plowing so so I think I think we're gonna get some snow by the looks of it here um, 
it's really putting it down so we got our work cut out for us let's give you a little indication of how hard it's snowing out there if you can see <sighs> we're only outside for a short period of time so but I'm gonna go upstairs I uh, I'm gonna bank off the fire pile up some coal water and uh, get a good night's sleep because we're gonna get, we got a lot of work to do in the morning so get them tractors dug out I need to run and get some coal and uh, I'm gonna bring you guys along for a ride so you can see what it's all about up here on the mountain in the winter time all you guys in the uh, warmer climates in the winter time down south or elsewhere guys out of the country that don't experience this type of weather I figure uh, you can get a kick out of seeing all this so I guess we'll see you guys in the morning hey guys well Saturday morning January 23rd uh, the storm raged all night long I've uh, been getting some bad reports from folks out on the uh, PA Turnpike stranded all night long into today. They've deployed the National Guard to try to get to them and get food and fuel to them to keep them warm. And we just hope everybody's okay and everybody makes out all right out of the deal. Um, really got hammered. Show you guys what it's looking like outside here. I haven't even begun to start digging truck tractors out or trucks or anything so uh, the neighbor did make a pass with his plow truck from out of his shop so at least that begins to open things up it's actually still snowing it's supposed to snow an additional five to ten inches on top of what we already got so But it's definitely let up. It, it it definitely raged all night long. And uh, well, here, take a look. I'll show you what I'm talking about. There's a little view from the uh, bathroom window. Uh, roof line is usually down here. So it's uh, grown a little bit. You can see uh, we've got some snow here. I'm going to take you guys downstairs here in a couple minutes. We'll go outside and show you. Over there, under that porch is where the plow is. we got a lot of work to get over to there. So, Oh boy. Well, here's the uh, aftermath so far. Yeah, it's knee deep. Pretty cool looking though. If you're not stranded somewhere, that is. Hey, I got a little uh, heat leakage on the house, I guess, huh? This swipe was taken not too long ago and it's already six inches deep again, so. And there is the old man, 81 years old. Yeah, he's too bullheaded to sit around. So, anyhow, I'm going to start digging the truck out here. Looks like we're going to be doing some uh, runner sledding tonight. All right. Well, that took forever truck is dug out and the new plows off here's that new plow that I got original international harvester plow which I believe came off of an old cub due to the fact that it has the two springs they used this setup here on the old ones that's the top spring there and that's the bottom spring but it's almost identical to the one I have for the other tractor. 
So I need to eliminate that. And then I'm gonna have to fab a bracket up for here so I can put, there's links that go up to a pivot system that runs off the hydraulics on the front of the tractor. And that's how it raises and lowers the blade. Manual tilt, but uh, it does pick it up and down, so. Which is the main thing. So we got that beast off the tractor. That thing's heavy. There's a lot of steel there. That thing will last my lifetime. And then some, so. But as you can see, it's still coming down. Uh, it's about one o'clock now. It's uh, supposed to go till, I believe midnight today, so. We got a lot of snow left yet. And they're, they're thinking maybe another 10 inches to a foot. And we're just getting started on cleanup, so. I hate to leave it go, because it's just going to make it that much worse right now. On to the next phase. Alright. About two hours later. Old Red is dug out. Halfway. But the battery... Well, I knew this going into it. The battery's pretty weak. Um, so I decided to let her charge for a while. Which didn't help me digging the rest of the stuff out because I don't know my front end loader. But, on the other hand, Old Yeller fired right up. So, and she's dug out. Oh, snow deep. See, those are my knees. That's how deep it is. Slowly digging our way through. It did quit snowing. Probably around 3.30 or so right now. Yeah, the old 154 fired up though. I got an issue with my headlights. She's not a real pretty tractor, but she's reliable. It does need a clutch put in her though. This engine don't use any oil. It don't smoke. It's been well taken care of. I've had this one for a long time. I've always run the proper oils in it, maintained it properly, grease it. That way when I need her, she's ready. For the most part. It'd be nice to light the work. Turn one and they shut off. I got a loose connection somewhere in the background. But I'm not trying to deal with that right now. I gotta get to the plow. So, on to the next part. Let's head up the other side of the homestead here and get the plow and get her on. Man, this plow kicks my butt every year, I swear. Ugh. Oh. Waited way too long, that's for sure. It's froze down to the ground. It's so hard to get these these links in when you're by yourself. You gotta kind of shift everything around and pick it off. Woo. We'll get her done. I got the main pin in. That's back under here. There's a main pin with car keys on each side. And then there's a drop like to go in on each side. This thing here tilts and goes back and forth and pivots and lifts the plow up and down. With the hydraulic handle right there. So. That close. Alright. Here we go, we're all bolted up. Uh, they got the action camera out for this. I'm not plowing down this yet. I'm gonna do that part of the drive over there. And then I'll get 
get all this. How many of you guys out there love these old internationals? I know I do. I grew up working with them on the farm up, up above here. Horse farm. And, uh, well, that's what everybody had back in the day with the Red, Red International. Until they started making junk in the late 70s, early 80s, which is a shame. Trying to cheapen them up, keep up the competition, but all they did was drive everybody to John Deere. So. Sunday, January 24th. I ended up not coming back out last night. I was just too tired. I ate dinner and that was the end of it. Getting that warm air. But just got done uh, trying to open this road up more with the neighbor's shop truck and he ended up putting it in the ditch up here. So we just got done dragging that out. As you can see right here. Now we're going to try to get the rest of this road up here finished up today. You can see how much I got done so far, which isn't a whole lot. Definitely some tough plowing. I had the Red International one uh, charge all night, so hopefully. Hopefully she's ready to go, so get dressed up here and fire these tractors back up and get some more plow. Well, we're almost done with her. Better take you guys along for a couple swipes. Thank you. 
What a beautiful day. What a difference a couple days makes. Oh, old bus he's over there resting. She did her job for this storm. The tractor's a hard worker, I'll tell you. Look at that. My wife even pulled the impala out to go grocery shopping. Bicycles are getting out of control. So that's uh that's a done deal as far as this storm goes. You get to see how much work it actually is being up here on one of these mountains like this. That was uh, start early Saturday all day long into the night and pretty much all day today Sunday. I started this morning about 6. Long day, long days. Now we can relax a little bit till the next one, anyhow. I still didn't uh, try to start old red. I think I'm just gonna go get a new battery for it this week. So, hey, any of you guys still here watching this video? <laughs> I know it's a long one, but. I thought you guys would appreciate coming along for the uh, weekend to uh, see what it's all about. One of these blizzards up here and what we go through. I appreciate all the help from you guys. Couldn't have got done without you. Um, I'm sure the southern states that were affected by this blizzard are going to be digging out for quite a few more days than what it took us. Uh, we're we're pretty well equipped up here. This is nothing really major for us, you know. Down in D.C., Maryland area, you guys really got hammered. A lot more snow than we even got, and uh, you guys really aren't equipped for that. I know. I used to spend a lot of time down that way working, and uh, generally when an inch of snow fell, they were calling us to stay at home, which we never did, of course, but. We were usually the only ones on the job site, all the boys from up north here, so. So, anyhow, uh, appreciate you guys watching the videos. I uh, want to thank, say thanks to all the new subscribers that have been joining the channel. Picking up a couple every day still, that's great. Uh, glad you guys enjoy the content, the videos and everything. Uh, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. You'll get future updates when I post videos. So. I hope everybody's safe and uh, sound that has uh, gone through the blizzard. Hopefully, uh, everybody comes out of it all right. So. So I guess that's about it, and uh, until next time, have a good evening.